So my name is Johnny Oldman. I am a pathobiology graduate student. I'm in a doctoral program in my second year, uh, going into my third year. And I'm also a student member of the uh, SSC, Student Sustainability Team. Yeah, so I uh, transferred recently from Wisconsin, University of Wisconsin. And um, I was in a sustainability and energy uh, building which ironically was really outdated and old. And the bathroom that was like right next to my office uh, was very inefficient. And continually using this, you know, periodically like next to my office and having, hearing people use it, it really bothered me to see you know, how inefficient things were. So that's when that started, uh, the idea kind of started. So I actually had a similar project at Wisconsin. I transferred here and I, I kind of made it work in, a, in the most efficient way possible. I chose uh, the undergraduate library as a targeted uh, location because this is sort of a pilot study. It was about $5,500 I requested, um, and that was for use in one male restroom and one female restroom um, on the first or second floor, technically, in the undergraduate library. And that was targeted because it's estimated that they have 30,000 uh, students that visit every week. So that was a lot of foot traffic. Um, and that was something that we thought we can move um, and implement sort of changes in those targeted spaces that we could get a lot more uh, efficiency per use. Yeah, so on campus, I hope that this um, really affects the students, um, not only um, visually, but more importantly, the message behind what it does. And what's exciting about it is that it's literally just a simple change that every student that goes and uses the restroom really doesn't have to do anything different except understand what the small change was and how they're making a difference. Um, and that's kind of the beauty of it. Everybody goes in the bathroom, and these toilets and urinals for the men um, are really just kind of going with technology, taking the more efficient routes. And the existing, for example, the existing toilets in the undergraduate library were three and a half gallons per flush, which we call a high flow and we moved into a 1.6 low flow gallon per flush. Um, so what that means at the 30,000 or so students per week estimate, using that all the way for annually, that saves um, up to 4.1 uh, million gallons of water, a reduction of 61%, um, which also saves about $6,200 um, in annual utility costs. And I think most importantly is it saves almost 400,000 pounds, a reduction of 400,000 pounds of carbon sequestration of carbon greenhouse gases, um, which I know if you don't really gauge that off of anything, that, that it really is a huge savings to really continue doing the same things that we are.